The other day we talked about what 2020 has in store for us in terms of NVIDIA GPUs, but AMD is not one to be left out in the cold. They have a little bit of preliminary news of their own with their own GPUs coming out this year. So let's talk about it. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. Thank you for joining me for another video. Remember to subscribe if you like my content, smash that like button, leave a comment below. Are you looking forward to the new NVIDIA 3000 series or the new AMD Big Navi as they're calling it? So the other day we started talking about some preliminary news that NVIDIA is going to be releasing their 3000 series GPUs, such as the 3080, 3080 Ti. Now, that's very interesting, but it's commonplace. We know NVIDIA is going to release GPUs. They've been dominant in the market for many years, much like Intel was on the CPU side for many years before AMD came along. That's why people are looking at AMD, and especially this rumored big Navi, as they're calling it, to save the day and bring prices down and performance up. That's exactly what AMD did against Intel. Intel was sort of just doing evolutionary upgrades year after year. AMD came in with Ryzen and year after year, they produced better chips for cheaper prices that pretty much decimated Intel's entire lineup. So now while Nvidia really hasn't been sleeping like Intel was, AMD can really bring the heat I think. Here are a couple of reasons why. So the number one reason, 20 2020 looks like it's gearing up to be an absolute brawl in terms of the GPU marketplace. Little by little, even if people haven't noticed, AMD has sort of been making their presence known again with the 5700, 5700 XT. Now, these graphic cards were not perfect by any means. They had a lot of driver issues when they came out, but they reintroduced very competitive cards at very fair prices. It's not as good as the 2070 Super, but it's somewhere in between the older 2070 and the 2060 Super. But for the price, generally these were in the $300 range, maybe maxing out in the low 400s. They were a pretty good value proposition, performed pretty well, and AMD finally sort of stepped back into that mid to high range GPU sector. Now, the one place that they've been missing out on is going to be the high end GPU market. And this brings us to the next very important reason. Us consumers really need a competitor in sort of the high-end GPU market. We're talking about the 2080, 2080 Ti, even the Titan cards. Now, AMD doesn't have anything currently that gets anywhere close to that. Um, basically, their biggest card is going to be the 5700 XT. So later on in the year, if they drop Big Navi, and if that has better performance than the 2080 Ti, I mean, that's going to be pretty amazing depending on the price. If the price is less than the 2080 Ti, I think people will definitely gobble it up and it's going to take a lot of NVIDIA market share away. If the price ends up being more expensive, that could be a problem for AMD because NVIDIA is waiting in the wings with their 3000 series and definitely those two are going to fight it out pretty drastically, I think, this year. If these GPU battles play out in any way that the CPU battles played out, Nvidia will surely launch their 3000 series line and AMD will have to respond with something like Big Navi. And then if they do a good job of it, like they were able to do with Ryzen, they're gonna get these prices down and the performance up. Ideally, we would get some type of 2080 Ti competitor for maybe even a couple of hundred dollars less. I mean, that would be ideal and that would cause Nvidia in turn to release not only faster GPUs, but GPUs at better price points. Now, Intel did that. They slashed their prices on their X299 processors, but by then it was too little, too late. Almost everybody had already moved on to AMD and Ryzen, so Nvidia might be able to preempt that sort of thing from happening. And while a lot of people say that Nvidia has not been sleeping, they're very dominant in the market, they have good products, that's true, but for years nobody thought that AMD was going to overtake Intel either. So little by little, they were able to sort of chip away at that Intel armor and we're now sitting here in the position that AMD is against Intel. So don't think the same may not be possible for Nvidia because if AMD was able to compete with Intel, surely given them enough time and making the right decisions and product releases, they're definitely going to be able to compete with Nvidia as well. 
Now, having a high-performing GPU from AMD is going to make a lot of sense in terms of their financials and business, because I can imagine a lot of people that are building a Ryzen system towards the end of the year, if big Navi's out and they want something equivalent to a 2080 or a 2080 Ti, and there's a big Navi card, they may want to very well go and put a nice AMD card in their system, so everything's matching, everything's AMD, um, even if it works better together or not, as GPUs are generally agnostic when it comes to that effect, you can put uh, NVIDIA card with an Intel processor or AMD processor, it doesn't really matter. But a lot of people may want to tune up their systems to have matching components. So that may be something to the benefit of AMD as well. And the same thing that I said about the NVIDIA 3000 series GPUs, take everything that you hear now with a grain of salt. It's way too early, even though there was recently an interview with the AMD CEO that she more or less made it seem like, yeah, we were going to get big Navi by the end of the year, but we don't know the details. We don't know if it's going to necessarily meet or beat a 2080 Ti. And by then, NVIDIA is going to have either released or announced other GPUs. So we really don't know where both of these are going to fall on the product stack. So take everything with a grain of salt. If you need to buy a GPU today, don't wait for months. These aren't going to come out anytime soon. Go ahead and buy whichever GPU you want. Of course, right now, NVIDIA is definitely dominant in the market. But you do have these AMD offerings that are very interesting. The 5700, 5700 XT. But if you're in the market for a high-end GPU, I see still would say if you need it now just go ahead and get that 2080 or 2080 ti they're not likely to really go down in price too much and by the time you do get a 3000 series or the amd competitor i mean it could literally almost be a year from now or more so now as the first month of 2020 starts to draw to a close we're seeing some very exciting battles line up in the gpu marketplace the cpu space i don't think is going to be as interesting in 2020 just because amd did such a thorough job decimating Intel in 2019 that there's not too much to do now. I mean, we have Threadripper and those processors coming out. Ryzen 3000 is amazing. You know, that's doing very well. Intel responded with whatever they could. You know, the 4000 series Ryzen probably will come out this year. But I think the main focus point of 2020 in terms of PC hardware, definitely going to be these GPUs. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to subscribe if you like my content, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.